Hi, we're Website Casa and we build affordable websites in about 10 business days. We also do short videos to answer questions and show you how to do things that you may be having trouble with. And other than this short intro, we get right to the point. So let's get started. A quick tutorial on the back end of WordPress, your WordPress dashboard. So let's get started. As you probably already know, to log into your WordPress dashboard, all you have to do is type your domain name, backslash, then WP admin. When you do that, it will take you to a screen where you'll be able to enter your username and your password, and then click login. When you log in to the back end of your WordPress website, on the left hand side, you will see quite a few different things. Now I already have some things um, installed in this WordPress, so I'll just go through the items in the back end that will be relevant to everyone. You'll see dashboard. Um, the dashboard is just this screen right here that you're seeing. The next thing that you'll see is posts. Now if you hover over posts, which some people refer to as blogs, but in WordPress they are posts. This is where you can um, see all your posts, add a new post, um, add categories, or add tags. Underneath post, you'll see media. Now this is your media library. Your media library is where all your images are stored that you're using on the site. So you can either drag things from your desktop into here, or you can click add new and then select the files from your desktop. Probably the most important thing um, so far that we we're going to discuss will be the pages. This is where you list all your pages or add new pages. Now as you can see all of my pages are listed here. If I hover over the page name a couple of other menu items come up. So you have edit, quick edit, trash or view. If you want to look at the site to see how it looks in the front end, you'd click on view. If you want to get rid of that page, you'd click on trash. The quick edit, I'll show you. It's um, where you can change the name, the title of the page, the slug, you can change the date that it was posted, you can add a password to it, you can allow the comments, you can change it from published to draft. Um, and then after you've done, made any changes that you want to make in here, you would click update. The next item on here is comments. This is where you'll see comments. Quite often you will see comments and this is where a lot of spam comes through. But if you do have a comment and it's not a legitimate comment, all you have to do is click right here, then go to bulk actions and you can just select what you want to do. In this case, I'm going to mark it as spam and then apply. Um, the other place that I'm going to show you is the appearance. Now the appearance is what manages your themes. This is where you'd install new themes. This is where you can customize themes. This is where you'll work with wid widgets, menus, background and, ground and theme editor. I'm going to show you the themes and I'll quickly just explain how you would upload a new theme, but I'm not going to go into too much detail. As you can see, I have several themes here. I have the Divi theme already installed. If I wanted to add a new theme, I would simply click add new. Now if I already had the theme that I wanted, I could upload the theme. If I wanted to search for one of the free WordPress themes, I could just type something like music, press enter, and all the music related themes would come up. Um, or you can go under featured and search popular latest. The next thing that you'll see under appearance is customize. If you have a theme already installed and you click on customize, it's one of the ways that you can add additional functionality or customize the theme with things such as the font that you're using, the font size, the colors, the background images, the footer, button, blog, anything in here. Now depending on the theme that you're using, you'll have different options in here. But one of the things you will see in most um, themes is general settings. The general settings is where you can set the site identity, which is the name of the site and the tagline, and also the favicon. The favicon is the little image that shows up in the tab. 
Um, in addition to in the theme customizer, another way that you can change those, the site identity is also in the menu on the dashboard, but we'll get to that shortly. The other important thing under appearance is widgets. Now the widgets is like the footer of the website. So if we go to the front end of the site and we look at the footer of the site, the bottom, um, the widgets control this part at the bottom. So we'll go there and go to widgets. So the widgets control the footer. There's some other places that you can control from the, um, from the widgets menu, such as the sidebar, and depending on how many different, um, how you have the footer formatted, you can update the different elements of the footer there. Um, the menus is also under appearance. So the menus would be the main menu, the footer menu, um, and also the secondary menu. So that would all be controlled from apparent menus. Now the theme editor I'm not going to get into, but there's some things that you can do with your theme from the theme editor. Another important part of the dashboard is the plugins. Plugins add additional functionality to your website. Um, one of the great things about WordPress is that there's so many different plugins available. So all you'd have to do is go to plugins and then you could click add new and search for whatever type of plugin it is that you're looking for. Um, if you need to update plugins, this is also where you would do that. Now I do caution people about updating plugins because sometimes the update isn't, um, isn't certified with your version of WordPress. So it's probably best to have someone who knows what they're doing update your plugins or if you are going to update plugins, always back up your site first. Um, users, the user menu, this is how you set passwords and add new users to your WordPress. So you could just go to users, add new, or you could see your existing profile. Now the settings is really important. So we're gonna go into the settings. First, we'll go into general. Now remember I said that there was another place that you could update the site title, and this is where it is. So we have the site title, we have the tagline, excuse that, we have the tagline, we have the WordPress address, site, site URL, etc. Also have the administration email. Now in the next one I'm going to go to that's quite relevant for a short um, tutorial would be reading. The reading is important because when you set up the WordPress originally, usually this will be set to um, your latest post. Um, by going into settings reading, you can set the static page or the first page that um, you see when you go into the website to whatever page you want it to be. So I've set it to home, so I've created a page called home and I've set it to home, but you can set it to whatever you want. Um, other than that, I'm not really going to go into too much detail. So just as a quick overview, to log into your WordPress, you simply type your domain name and then backslash WP admin. It will take you into the dashboard. In the dashboard, if you want to navigate between the front end of the site and the back end of the site, you go to the top left and you can click on visit site and it will take you to the front end of the site, which is where um, the people visiting your website will end up. Um, this is the main menu. The menu is controlled by going to the top left, the name of the domain, and you can go to menus, you can go to widgets, you can go to themes, or you can go to theme customizer. I did show you how to do that from the back end, but um, I'm also showing you how you can do that from the front end and just go directly to any of those items. And that's about it. This has been a really quick um, overview of the WordPress dashboard. It should give you the basics that you need in order to navigate. I'll do some additional videos that will go into more detail, maybe on specific things. And the other thing that I will go into a little bit more is the Divi theme. The Divi theme is a fantastic theme that I use. Um, for most of my clients, I use Divi simply because there's a lot of support on Divi available on the internet. So if someone doesn't opt to have us 
maintain their site, and if they need to just do something very quickly, after we've done the training with them, either they can go to our website, to our training support, um, where we have a lot of videos on Divi and other things that we use, or they could just simply go to YouTube and you know just search Divi and whatever topic it is that they're looking for. Really appreciate you taking time to watch this video. Hopefully it was helpful. If you need assistance or if you need um, any more information, feel free to call the office or visit the office. Thanks for listening.